I'm at the Montgomery Dive Club's Dryland Training Center, where this club's national team uses harnesses, trampolines, and a dry board to practice their dives. This county facility is just steps from the Kennedy Shriver Aquatic Center off Executive Boulevard in North Bethesda. It's a small building that is making a big difference in the performance of the athletes in the program. The trampoline helps you with getting the flips down and the dry boards help you with getting your approach and your press and making sure you do it really good so when you do do it in the pool. Having a facility like this that's nationally recognized, to be able to bring that to, the, to our kids, we're very, very proud of that. That is so priceless because so many people don't have that opportunity and um, you know, to train in that way that the best divers in the world train in and so we're really lucky. It like helps me figure out how to do the dive before I do it onto the water so that I wouldn't smack. Three years ago, the facility housed two rundown handball courts. Now it's practice space for more than 70 members of the county's national dive team. These are kids anywhere from eight years old to 18 years old, and they are um, they're very focused on uh, competing at the national level. When I'm standing up on the 10-meter platform, I'm so afraid and so like nervous at what I'm going to do. But then I trust my training, and I go. And the difference, like the contrast between how afraid I am up there and how like excited and full of adrenaline and relieved and stuff after I do a good dive. That rush, like that's what I die for. Even the U.S. dive team trained here before that team headed to the 2012 London Olympics. Could Montgomery play host again for the 2016 team? We hope so. We're working on that right now. We are. Uh, we would love to be uh, the last stop before the team heads off to Rio, um, and we're uh, working hard to make sure that that happens. From IMC Media, I'm Krista Brick.